Each of us certainly had situation where we first got rid of some data because we did not need it, but after some times we realized that we wanted to recover this data. It could be anything, an old note, a photo, or it could be an entire repository. Then what? We would like to somehow recover this data. Unfortunately, this is not always possible, so we should remember to regularly backup our data. Today we will talk about repositories and how we can recover them using two popular services, GitHub and Bitbucket. Before we figure out how to restore a repository, we first need to delete it. If you want to know more about repository removal, you should check out the video in the upper right corner, how to delete a repository in GitHub. But for now, we don't need to know the details. Let's assume that we have already deleted the repository both on GitHub and Bitbucket. It is established that the deletion is permanent. So you might ask yourself what this is all about. How can I recover something that is permanently deleted? Well, the answer is not that simple and it depends on what hosting service we use. For sure, we will lose all information not directly related to our files, such as permissions, comments, labels and others, but let's check how it works thoroughly. GitHub allows us to recover the repository within 90 days of its deletion, but there are a few things we need to know about this especially if our repository was part of a fork network. Let the official documentation explain to us what the fork network actually is. A fork network consists of a parent repository, the repository's forks, and forks of the repository forks. Complicated? It may sound like that, but it's not. No important thing, which is why the definition is important. If our repo was part of such a network, then it cannot be restored. Well, unless every other repository in the network would be deleted or detached. But that scenario is highly improbable and often is not up to us. In the documentation we can find a mention that if we want to restore such a repository, if we cannot do it ourselves, we can contact GitHub support on this matter. So let's not lose hope. However, I do not recommend this type of solution because this way we lose control. And you cannot be 100% sure that the support could help you. We are dependent on others, and this is never a good thing when it comes to security of our data. Ok, but let's move on to the most important one, which is the answer to the question that led us here. How to restore a repository? Let's start with GitHub. To restore the deleted GitHub repository, we need to open the settings, go to the Repositories tab, then we will see something like this. All of our deleted repositories will be listed under the deleted repository tab. Of course, all that were deleted no more than 90 days ago. Note the message on the blue background. GitHub informs us directly that the repositories belonging to the fork network cannot be restored. Another important thing is the information about the time interval between deletion and restoration. You can test it yourself, create new repository, delete it, and then go straight to restoring. Spoiler alert, you will probably fail. But that shouldn't be a problem, because if you want to restore the deleted repository, most likely it was removed much earlier than an hour ago. Now, let's check how it works in Bitbucket. At support.atlasian.com, you can find a thread titled Can I restore a deleted repository or comments? What is the official answer? No. You are responsible for backing up your repository. Creating a regular backup of your data can protect you from any data loss. End of story. This is a thread from December 2020 and nothing has changed since then. On the other hand, we can also find another thread on the same page titled Restore a deleted repository for Bitbucket server. This thread describes two ways to recover a deleted repository but it is not really recovery understood in the same way as for example in GitHub. They require us to have a third-party Bitbucket backup, which is already the first difference because it is not Bitbucket that cares about it, but we ourselves. The recovery process itself is actually creating a new repo from a backup or a local version of the repository, if there is one at all. Either way, we need to create a new empty repository in Bitbucket then set the appropriate origin address and perform a push operation that will restore the repository to us from the backup. 
As for conclusions, first of all, everything depends on the platform we use. But even the very friendly GitHub has some limitations related to it. Having our own backups and our own recovery procedures give us peace of mind because we can keep them for as long as we want. They also allow us to simplify the recovery process, which will certainly make our work easier. Although even here we can run into some problems if our procedures are not up to date. So think over your decision a few times before you decide to delete the repository. So that was how to restore a deleted repository from GitHub and Bitbucket. If you want to learn more about why you should backup your Git repositories, check out this video and this video. And if you enjoyed this one, leave a like, subscribe to this channel and visit our sites zopro.com and gitprotect.io. See you in the next one. Goodbye.